Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. Happy Friday. Um, it's going to be a little Friday fun time. Friday fun time. That's what we should call this. That's what I'll use. Uh, I've got this box of, these are all one of ones. And I was going to kind of thumb through here and show some interesting ones out of here. Probably not all of them, but just to give you an idea of... I guess kind of how I used to collect and there's so much, I, I feel like there's so much in my collection that I've never shown you guys that, uh, again, people come here and they're like, why don't you show this? Why don't you show that? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Uh, speaking of people coming over, uh, Matt Aldridge, who is, uh, the card story, the Hank Aaron card story, uh, and his, kids and wife Sarah and they all came over the other day and so got to show them the card room and have fun with that but uh always fun to show cards and I'm like yeah I'll, I'll keep kind of doing these I don't know uh just different parts of my collection un unseen parts of my collection so I, I, as you saw in my hall of fame printing plates I'm a big printing plate guy uh these are no different this is an old like this is probably a back door. This might not even be a real printing plate. These Pacific ones that came out from the 90s, hard to know. Uh, that one's, again, kind of that, is it real, is it not? Uh, this one's definitely real. That's a Topps gallery. These are all Pudge Rodriguez. So you'll see like a theme of, okay, here's all my Pudge. Uh, that's a, no, that's a Topps one. Top's finest. Yeah. I do like when they kind of frame it sometimes. I think that's pretty cool. Then they actually put a card back on it. One of one. Uh, so yeah, I'll just, I mean, upper deck stuff, more that's a Bowman Heritage, I believe. Yeah. 2008 tops. Okay, so that's a few pudges. I think I have. Yeah, these are definitely out of order. Somebody went through these. and Guess what I get to do after this? Because here we go with Adrian Beltre. There's a couple of uh, Ginter. Oh, so we go Beltre. <laughs> Let's put these in some kind of order. Then we go back to Pudge. Just Pudge, Pudge, Pudge. Okay. Pudge. So yeah, these don't, oh, here's one where I have three of the four. I'm only missing the black on that one. That would be cool. Um, Pudge, the Rangers, there's two of that one. I don't really look for these anymore, honestly. Um, but it doesn't make them not cool. There's one with the ink on it. A little mini plate, another mini plate. Okay, this is a cool card from, oh, what year? This is old, I don't know, but I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get, so National 2002, so that's when it's from. It's a 20 year old card. And they would take cards at the Donruss booth and stamp them and then put a serial number on it, 101. They'd literally stamp it at the show. They'd emboss it here and then stamp it at the show. And now you have a 101 from the National. Is it legit? Eh. I mean, they're on the checklist, honestly. Uh, wood minis are never bad from Allen and Ginter. This is 12, hand numbered on the back. Little. National Treasures, Materials, Plate, Patch. So, yeah. So, these are all Pudge so far. That stack and a couple of Beltrays over here. All right. This is a really weird set. This is from SP Legendary Cuts and 09. So, 2009. And what they did was... Each of these is a one of one, and they'd have a different memorable moment. The one of one is right there. A different memorable moment. So I think, 
I, I'm, I'm not even going to guess. There's a lot of each player, uh, a bunch, I should say. And so I've got one, two, three, oops, four, five. Let's just get them out there. Five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine of these total, all with a different memorable moment, all one of ones. So, yeah. And then there's stuff like that, that, you know, it's like, goodness gracious. Um, seems a little silly, but I guess I should have just said one was enough, you know. Okay, those are all still pudges. Oh, more. So here's a 2005 Diamond Kings. One of one. This is the Platinum, I think they called it, dual bat. This is cool. Triple Threads. Posada, Veritech, Pudge, Backstop. One of one. I should stop saying that. They're all one of ones. This is from uh, Panini Cooperstown. This was a set done 2014-ish, uh, I think. 2015. And... I don't know, I, I thought this was, I think this went was an auction and I won it pretty cheap. But you know, it's a one-on-one -on -one version of the Nolan Ryan card. And then I got random. Here's Own the Name. These are, I love these. Uh, anything like this is very cool to me. An actual letter from the nameplate. This one happens to be te former Texas Ranger, Nomar Mazzara. Never really panned out for us. I've got a lot of that in here. So here is, this is the precursor to Sapphire. Because this is from uh, 2016. You can tell it's got that kind of Sapphire thing. It's the 65th anniversary, yada yada, Topps Chrome or something. <coughs> Sorry guys, I've been under the weather too. I just keep getting colds. Um, but they're the one of one on the front. Sean Tollison. Yeah. Uh, Michael Choice. I actually pulled this card uh, on a break. I think I did it. actually did a break of triple threads back in the day. Michael Choice was supposed to be a, a great player for us. He didn't turn out to be such a great player for us. But that's the red one-of-one one parallel of his rookie. I guess this is kind of an RPA from back in the day. Uh, whatever year that is. Okay, now we're we're getting into Beltray. This is... I need to get that. So, so then I have a bunch of Beltray one-of-ones. Because I'm a Beltray guy. So is that the same one as, no, nope, different year. So, yeah, it's cool how the chrome ones, if you noticed, are reverse image versus like a top. So it'll be, looks normal. So yeah, I'll just search every once in a while, Adrian Beltre one of one and see what I can find. He'll be in the Hall of Fame. This is cool. A six-piece patch bat combo. Uh, hat holes, I guess, is what those are. I wonder if it tells you on the back. No, just... It is game-used material, it says. One of one. National Treasures. That's kind of an off-brand one of one. All right, Nelly Cruz. So there you can see the reverse part of it. So... This is a Topps card over here, and this is a Topps Chrome. And you can see the reverse images that they do. The Nelly Cruz Plate Auto from Tribute. More Nelly Cruz. Oh, Prince Fielder. This is very Rangers heavy. Um, Prince Fielder. Cole Hamels. With the Rangers. Another 
another Cole Hamels. I think that's just like, no, that's David Murphy, Ranger, Mike Napoli, Joe Nathan. Okay. I'm also a big, I love Michael Young, this player right here. If you don't know who he is, he's way underrated, uh, I think. I saw his whole career and just thought he was a great player, so I have a lot of his stuff. And there's a Immaculate 1 of 1 Auto, a Bowman Sterling red jersey. Leaf materials black, black mirror, mirror black, whatever they said. There's a Rangers, not so a lonely. Uh, Napoli, Young, Nelly Cruz. Plates of Michael Young. Got a bunch of those. Just keep grabbing stacks. More plates of Michael Young. Keep going. I wonder if I have the most plates of Michael Young. Maybe. Still going. These are all Michael Young. <laughs> I should show you all my Michael Young collection sometime. There's one. I've got three of them. But always finding that fourth one of the colors is is tough. Let's see. I think we're almost. Uh, there's a what is that a black vinyl or whatever they call it from Prism with them on the Philadelphia Phillies. I think. Yeah. Okay. Now. Um, we start the Josh Hamilton craziness. As most of you know, or some of you might know, I'm a Josh Hamilton super collector, or was in a past collecting life. And I have so many Josh Hamilton one of ones. It is kind of depressing. What a great, you know, story, redemption great player, great talent. Um, and then uh, went to the Angels. Actually, didn't play great for us, but incredibly naturally talented player. There is one in here that's cool because Hamilton's one of the guys that Plate after plate after plate after plate. Wait, somebody, these are way out of order. So I'm looking at these. I'm just going, man. <coughs> Beam team. Auto. Okay, there's the card. Let me put these up. So here I've got the black, the cyan, the magenta, and the yellow of that card. So this is uh, Bowman Platinum. You can see them all together. It's it's all it's the only card I have all four of. I guess that makes that a one of one by itself. Running through these quickly. Oh, there's one I have three of. Oh. I haven't bought a Josh Hamilton card in a really long, long time. All right, here's some pretty cool stuff. Here is a uh, triple threads, platinum, whatever they called their one of one. There's a triple threads, red patch. It's a shame all this is angel stuff. It's actually a patch, believe it or not. It looks like a napkin, but it's not. It's just all patch. 
I think that's called their Unity Relic. Here's a platinum triple jersey derby from his home run derby. Um, 2008. Let's see. That's cool. Uh, Kinsler, Cruz, Hamilton. Shiny. Lone Star, Cruz, Kinsler, Hamilton. Always sick patches on these. Outfield of Dreams. You've got Hamilton, Braun, and Carlos Gonzalez Cargo. Back then, that was the Outfield of Dreams. Plate Auto, Triple Threads. Plate Auto, Triple Threads. Wood. I guess these were called white whales, right? Sorry, these are called white whales from back in the day. I don't know that they call them that anymore, but the wood, one of ones, triple auto, jersey, patch, whatever, of Napoli, Cruz, and Hamilton. Slamilton. So this is the same card as this, except black printing plate, white whale. It actually says on the bottom. Yep, or right in the middle there, white whale. White whale. Like a Moby Dick type card, I don't know. Another Unity Relic Red, one of one. Get that to focus. There we go. Dual Relic Red, Bowman Sterling, Cruz, and Hamilton. They were a great duo for us. This is Top Sterling. What a great product this was back in the day. This is my only superfractor, and it doesn't even look like a traditional superfractor. It's tops shelf, whatever. Um, but that's the super. It's not really super -y refractory. This is a. Oh, what did they call these? It's not leather, but it's something like that. I just can't remember. This is from Gypsy Queen. This is a mini. Clear Vision Cycle. This is the black one of one. Pinnacle. Significant Signatures. Donner's Classics one of one. Platinum, I guess, is what they call it. A little sketch card. Remember when these were a big deal to get sketch cards? It's an authentic sketch card. Unique hand drawn piece of art. was a great set um milestones i think this is 08 and each player has some milestone and they have all these different numbers like this is his uh 47 rbi so there will be 47 of these cards each one with a regular a blue a black and then reds all numbered differently so that was a if you were a player collector that was back in that day man you had to Lots of stuff. Okay, this is from Tops 3D. Uh, that's what this was called, I think. This is the lineage or line graph. And there were regular, you know, you could buy, the, you know, this was a card by itself. Then they had another parallel and they had this one of one parallel. I told you guys I love these, own the name. I wish I had more of these. I just don't. There's one from the All Star game, nameplate patch. We're almost to the end, guys. If you stuck with this, you just like one of ones. Um, three, uh, triple threads, triple threads. This is a cool one. This is from Five Star 2012. So the first year of Five Star. Nameplate, letter patch, Josh Hamilton with the N. That is. 
is pretty freaking cool. I actually still think this card would have some value because five stars is just such a popular deal. Uh, Elite Extra Edition Black, whatever. Shiny 101. Top Sterling. It's at the very bottom down there. And last one, a museum collection. Actually, I think this was the red. What was the, the one of one is right there. There it is. So yeah. So that is what was in that box. Um, just kind of all the other one of ones that I have. And I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. Talk to you soon. Keep collecting.